Hello, I'm Joshua Farnsworth and welcome to our, my workshop here in Earliesville, Virginia. Uh, in this video, I wanted to uh, share a little review about a really, a really great product uh, called a Moxin Vice. A lot of you have probably heard of these. Uh, this was a, a kind of a design that has been built by a lot of people recently based off of an original design in a 17th century book by Joseph Moxon. And it's basically a portable vice that you can put anywhere on different parts of your workbench and it's secured to the top with clamps so it's movable. Uh, and what it's especially great for is for dovetailing because not only can you raise it up a little bit higher, this gives you th four or five inches height, you can also even I've seen people go even higher so you can dovetail up high, but also this has got an incredible amount of space in between these jaws. Normal vices usually have a screw going through the middle or, or they're just not this wide. This is this uh, particular one by Lake Erie uh, Tool Works. This has 24 inches in between it. So you can put big panels like this for cutting. Uh, if you're making like a tool chest or a table or something, you want to do breadboard ends and you want to cut, cut out your your tenons on there, you can do that. Uh, so it's just a fantastic uh, and really convenient thing, especially on this workbench. I haven't had time to build, this is a, a newer workbench that I'm, I built. I haven't had time to finish the leg vise, so this has been a really, uh, really nice appliance to be able to have on here just as a, uh, until, I, until I can get another vise in there, but I'll still use this and move it around the shop. So it's really great to, for that. Uh, Lake Erie has been uh, kind enough to offer one of these as a giveaway. Uh, so as part of this, if you go to the below link to the accompanying blog post, you can enter to win one of these really great Moxon vices. And also uh, we'll be doing another giveaway for one of Lake Erie's uh, screw, screw, screw vice kits. So this particular one of theirs is all maple and it's uh, got nice turned handles here it tightens down really well it comes unfinished so you just hit it with like some 320 fine grit sandpaper and then put some danish oil on it don't put any danish oil on this on the screws because uh, that will cause some slippage but just put some paste wax or something on it and then uh, really doesn't require i mean maybe about 15 minutes of work and you're ready to go and just clamp them on and it's a really great uh, really great fixture to have in your workshop, especially if you want to build tables or desks or tool chests with wide pieces. Uh, even if you're just doing smaller dovetails, this is, uh, I actually really prefer using one of these uh, because of the height, if not for anything else than a normal vise, no, normal face vise. So check out the blog post and uh, let me know what you think if you've got one of these or if you've got uh, any mocks advice or if you've built one, uh, let us know how you like it. And uh, so thanks for watching. This is Joshua Farnsworth. If you're interested in learning traditional woodworking with hand tools, visit my website at woodandshop.com where you can find free video tutorials, workshop tours of amazing traditional woodworkers, and tool buying guides. You can ask questions and share your projects with thousands of woodworkers on my free traditional woodworking forum. Make sure you subscribe to my regular blog posts and also check out my 10 steps for getting started in traditional woodworking. Enjoy!